Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and in this video we are going to be looking at how you can go ahead and set custom mob drops. Now this is a fairly simple, but it could be a little bit weird when you're first trying to do it. So first things first, let's just go ahead and create a class called My Events. I have already done this uh, just because I've done it for the past, I don't know, 11 or 12 videos. Uh, so hopefully by this point, you kind of know that we're working a lot with events for this first uh, big chunk of this uh, series. So it's pretty simple to set the mob drops. Now you can do it a few different ways, but the way we're going to be doing it in this video is we're going to be looking at the entity death event. So when a certain entity dies, we will spawn a certain item at their location. Now, how you spawn these items can be done a few different ways. You could have it just go right into the player's inventory. You can have an item stack or an item entity spawn at the location that the entity died at, which is what we're going to do. So let's just go ahead and say at event handler, public void mob death. And this will be entity death event and we'll just say event, we don't need that big long name. And then what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and clear all of the drops, right? Cause we don't want any of the drops that normally drop to happen. Now this is useful if you were say creating a custom server where you have custom entities and you want them to drop uh, custom items, unique items, whatever it may be, or maybe you just want it to drop larger amounts of those items or of the default items whatever you want to do and then we're also just going to go ahead and set the event uh, get dropped or set excuse me set dropped exp and we're going to set that at zero just so nothing at all drops whatsoever the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and say living entity e and that's going to be event get entity and let's just change this to entity not e all right so then we want to say we want to check what the entity actually is. So it's a really easy way to do this. So we can go ahead and say, if entity is instance of, and let's just go ahead and say zombie, we are going to go ahead and do something. So what we can do is we can go ahead and say entity dot get location dot get world dot drop item. It's going to be entity Dot get location and then we're just going to go ahead and spawn a new item stack and it's going to be a material dot oops diamond great and we only need one of them now you can set custom amounts if you so choose and let's just go ahead and add a couple different one of these let's just go ahead and say else if instance of um, let's just say turtle and let's just go ahead and drop an emerald and then let's just say else if is instance of and then let's just say creeper and then let's drop a TNT because it just makes sense right and let me close down episode 14 we don't need that then we go to my main class here we're gonna go ahead and say this get server dot get plugin manager dot register events this new oops sorry it's going to be new my events this and let's just go ahead and export this project now so we're going to go ahead and do install over here and i'm going to go ahead and switch over to my console here my minecraft in console so minecraft's probably black right now because uh, i am tabbed out of it let me go to here, let me get the target, let me get the jar file, let me just put that in the server. Okay, let's go to our console here, if I can find it, there we go. Just go ahead and do a reload there, you can see it changing on the screen. And Minecraft is now showing up, perfect. Let's go ahead and join our server, where are you? Oh, using the wrong Minecraft version. Righto, one second. Okay, let's go ahead and join our server. Let's make sure our plugin load in. Great, episode 15 is there. So let's go ahead and get, oops, a zombie. 
a creeper. And what was the other one? A turtle. And a turtle. Okay, let's get rid of those. Let's grab an iron sword. Okay, so we have a zombie. Of course, it spawned many. So if we kill him, you can see there that it dropped a diamond. And it looked like a regular drop event, so it didn't get thrown into the inventory and it wasn't some random um, animation. It just looked like a normal drop event. Now if we spawn a creeper, we kill this creeper. Beefy guy. You can see that it dropped our TNT. And if we get a turtle, these are going to take a little longer to kill. We have an emerald. So that is all I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And I will turn this weather off. See you guys in the next video.